Presidential candidate Julian Castro made his way through downtown Laconia Wednesday, stopping to visit a local jeweler and a coffee shop before heading to navigating recovery of the Lakes region. Less than two years after opening its doors, it has provided support to more than a thousand people from all walks of life struggling with addiction. The disease of substance use disorder does not discriminate. Castro, the former Secretary of Housing and Urban Development under President Obama, promises more help if he's in the White House. Washington needs to be a strong partner to states like New Hampshire that have had quite a challenge with the opioid crisis. And if I'm president, I look forward to being a strong partner. It has been a whirlwind first visit as an official candidate for Castro, a crowded meet and greet in Summersworth, and a high profile speech in front of community leaders at Politics and Eggs, where he laid out his progressive agenda and later told reporters he is the polar opposite of the president. I represent the antidote, the antithesis of Donald Trump. Carlos Cardona says Castro is setting an important example for a voting block he believes is under siege these days. It's super important that we have representation at every corner because there's always a Latino somewhere in this country that is feeling a little bit rejected by this administration. So it's super important that we have somebody like him to say, yes, you can. Today, Secretary Castro said while he wishes early voting states like New Hampshire and Iowa were a bit more diverse, he believes they still do a good job vetting the candidates, saying people here, quote, take their politics and their policy very seriously. Live in the studio, Adam Sexton, WMUR News 9.